In this uh, video, we're going to see a quick look at iodometry, which is a titration that is taking place when iodine is liberated by a chemical reaction and the liberated iodine is titrated against a reducing agent. The reducing agent that we're going to use is sodium thiosulfate and we want to determine the molar concentration of sodium thiosulfate and as we already know, sodium thiosulfate is a secondary standard. This is a reaction we are going to use. Potassium iodate is a primary standard. It's allowed to react with potassium iodide in an acid medium to liberate iodine. And this iodine is quantitatively liberated and it depends on the molarity of KiO3 or potassium iodate. Since we know the exact quantity of iodine liberated, we can determine the molar concentration of sodium thiosulfate which is going to react with the iodine. The liberated iodine is titrated against sodium thiosulfate which is to be standardized and we will use starch as an indicator to note the end point of the reaction. The reaction between sodium thiosulfate and iodine can be represented like this. Two moles of sodium thiosulfate reacts with one mole of iodine to produce sodium tetrathionate and sodium iodide. Now in the previous reaction we had seen that potassium iodate when reacted with potassium iodide liberates 3 moles of iodine. So instead of 1 mole of iodine we are going to get 3 moles of iodine for every mole of potassium iodate. So that's what we are going to titrate it against. So the reaction can be rewritten. Since we will be getting 3 moles of iodine we will need 6 moles of sodium thiosulfate to obtain a balanced equation which will give you 3 moles of sodium tetrathionate and sodium iodide. The 3 moles of iodine is obtained because of this reaction. KiO3 plus 5Ki in acid medium gives you 3I2 plus 3H2O plus 3K2SO4. So the 3 moles of iodine that is liberated by the reaction between Ki and KiO3 is what we are actually titrating against. So sodium thiosulfate will be reacting with that iodine. That's why we rewrite the equation in this form. Now combining the previous equations, we can again once again obtain a new equation for calculation purposes. KiO3 plus 6 Na2S2O3 because the 6 moles of sodium thiosulfate is required to react with the 3 moles of iodine that KiO3 is going to liberate and the products are obtained. So that's the reason why we rewrite this equation so that it becomes easy for the calculation. We're going to use the equation C oxidizing agent times volume of oxidizing agent divided by its coefficient is equals to concentration of reducing agent times volume of reducing agent divided by its coefficient. This is how you can calculate the concentration of the unknown reagent, in this case the reducing agent. If you rewrite the equation it changes to Concentration of the reducing agent is equals to concentration of the oxidizing agent times volume of oxidizing agent times 6 divided by the volume of the reducing agent. And I have used the values that I actually obtained from an experiment and this is how it changes. The concentration of potassium iodate is 0 0.0083 molar multiplied by the volume of the oxidizing agent which is potassium iodate 10 ml times 6 which is a coefficient of sodium thiosulfate and divided by the volume of the reducing agent which is sodium thiosulfate which was 10.5 ml. I obtained a concentration of 0 0.0474 molar for the sodium thiosulfate that I had. I tried to prepare a 0.5 molar, 0.05 molar solution of sodium thiosulfate the actual concentration of sodium thiosulfate as obtained from the experiment shows me it is 0 0.0474 molar, which is also indicative of the factor that sodium thiosulfate is actually a secondary standard. That's how you do the calculation and obtain the molar concentration of a secondary standard by using a redox reaction.